What is a cyclotron? Cyclotron is a region of space where the electric and magnetic fields a centripetal acceleration. It is a particle accelerator used to accelerate. Hello students, this is SD Sir. Again the last session of unification of electricity and magnetism. Hope we have unified the principles well. What do I study in this session? A very simple session where I discuss something called as a cyclotron an accelerating device which we call as cyclotron no much weighted questions from this topic in the examination hardly the diagram of cyclotron is used or asked for two marks or the uses of cyclotron is asked for two marks. Before going deep into the concept of cyclotron, we shall first understand what is a cyclotron. Cyclotron. Cyclotron is a device which is used to accelerate positively charged particles. Cyclotron na particle accelerator. Look at it. We also call the cyclotron as a particle accelerator. Why is it called a particle accelerator? Because it is used to accelerate positively charged particles like protons, alpha particles etc. Protons, alpha particles, they are positively charged particles. They are accelerated to high energies to carry out nuclear reactions, disintegrations. That is why we use a cyclotron. So, my dear students, a cyclotron is a device, it is a particle accelerator used to accelerate positively charged particles, which are the positively charged particles, protons, alpha particles etc to high energies high kinetic energies to carry out nuclear disintegrations now what is the principle of working of a cyclotron when a charged particle moves in a crossed field. Yeni do crossed field and rare. Sir, we know a crossed field is a region of space 
where the electric and magnetic fields are mutually perpendicular to each other. We have studied earlier. So when a charged particle moves in a crossed field, it gets accelerated and acquires large amount of kinetic energy. So, what is the principle? When a charged particle moves in a crossed field, electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other, it gets accelerated and acquires large amount of kinetic energy. Now, a cyclotron has two hollow semicircular disks called Ds. So if you observe the diagram, D1 and D2, these are the two hollow semicircular metal disks. So in any cyclotron, there are two metal disks, two hollow metal disks. And what do we call them as? Ds, as the name itself goes, Ds. The source of positive ion or positive charged particle is placed at the midpoint of the Ds. So this is the midpoint. The charged particle the positive charge, positive ion which has to be accelerated is placed at the midpoint of the Ds. When the cyclotron lay, Yarado, semicircular, semicircular metal disc galirtave. Adana Ds in the Kariti V. But Yawa charge particle positive ion na accelerate Marbeko Adana center of the Ds ali place Marti V. The Ds are connected to a high frequency oscillator. Now there will be an electric field as well as a magnetic field operating in a cyclotron. When the cyclotron only electric field irte, magnetic field irte. What is the purpose of the electric field? To create suitable potential to increase the speed of the charged particle within the Ds. See, the charged particle is moving in the semicircular Ds. It will experience a centripetal acceleration and the electric field provides necessary potential for the charged particle to speed up. Then what is the use of the magnetic field? It makes the charged particle move in the circular path or to change the direction of the charged particle within the Ds. So electric field speeds up the charged particle within the Ds 
and magnetic field will change the direction of the charged particle within the disk. Now, coming to the theory of the cyclotron, what is important is the energy of the cyclotron. Energy of the cyclotron is given by half m b square q square r square divided by m square where m is the mass of the charged particle b strength of the magnetic field q magnitude of the charge and r radius of the circular path and therefore we say cyclotron frequency is given by gamma equals bq divided by 2 pi m now coming to the uses the most expected question based on cyclotron uses of cyclotron first one it is used to produce radioactive isotopes for medical purpose radio iodine radio sodium wherever we require radioactive isotopes for medical purposes we use a cyclotron it is used to improve the quality of solids by adding ions strength of materials strength of the solids quality of the solids can be improved by adding ions to it and this is done by using cyclotron it is used to bombard atomic nuclei with high energy charged particles to study nuclear reactions wherever i want to know the structure of the nucleus nuclear disintegration k electron captures I need to bombard nucleus with high charged particles and that is where I use a cyclotron. So dear students, I have probably unified the principles of electricity and magnetism to its best. So at the end of the chapter, we clearly come to know, as Oyster said, electricity is not a different dimension. Magnetism is not a different dimension. The principles are unified and this unification led to something called electromagnetism. And in my next session, with a new chapter, with a new thought, we start discussing the principles of electromagnetism. Until then, stay safe. Thank you.